Can you, um, we understand how uh, Lois uh, obviously became a part of this project. Can you talk a little bit on how you were able to pull together this ensemble cast and who like joined up next? I thought about John Hamm and I knew someone who plays softball with him. <laughs> and that's very useful because agents aren't always helpful in getting scripts to people. And, and uh, so um, I met with him and he was keen to do it. And then Gina was recommended by, actually her agent came through for her and I hadn't thought of Gina Davis for a while. She hasn't been in a lot. And when the idea came up, I, th I was open to it and met with her and she was the same Gina Davis that I remembered. And, and it was very encouraging to have her enthusiasm. And then um, my first movie has a cameo by Tim Robbins, just like 10 minutes before he became a star. And I hadn't talked to him much since that time and I didn't think I could get his attention. But he read it and leapt in and it was very lucky. He was, he doesn't, I, I, I hear he's, very selective and busy doing theater. So, and, and the great thing about thinking of him and aligning him with Gina is that they go way back. They're great friends or they, they have shared history and they, they know each other like a, like a married couple in a way. <laughs> so that was, they'd never been in a movie before together, but they shared a lot together. So that was how it all shaped up. Now the character that Tim plays, John, um, he has the most difficult task because he is the one providing all the memories pretty much for most of, most of the primes. Can you talk a little bit about the development of that character? Well, you're, you're asking good questions because you know, you know the background. The play, I didn't tamper with it much, but Lois's character is more or less intact from the play. I didn't change much with her. And that she, I think this is the most developed character from the play. But John's character that Tim plays is, is the most, I stretched it the most. He, in, um, in the movie, he's self-medicating, he's drinking, he's, he's a little bit, he's more, had got more of an edge, and he's his, um, somehow, I think his sadness is something that Tim related to, and he was able to, more than I expected, really persuasively embody that. Um, so he's, he's the one He's the most human in a way. He doesn't cross over. He doesn't become this other thing. Mm 